Riley here today. Uh, I just did this voiceover and I ran like a minute long, so I'm going to try this again. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the NVIDIA Shadowplay uh, beta, which is rightfully in its beta stage. And this is some Battlefield 3 footage that I uh, recorded using the Shadow Time feature, which basically you can set it to record uh, from either one minute all the way up to 20 minutes of your previous gameplay. You don't have to be physically recording at the time. It will shadow record itself, and then you can just hit Alt F10 by default, I believe it's a keystroke. And it will save that previous 20 minutes of gameplay, or one minute, I'm not sure why you choose to have one minute. But it will save that into the designated folder that you have for it, and you'll be good to go. Except, the audio quality, this is probably my... This is its biggest problem, basically. The audio quality, well not the audio quality I guess, the uh, how what did you put this? The audio timing, I guess? It gets progressively worse. Like, it will be okay at the beginning, like you can tell there's a very, very slight difference. And then, um, as it get farther along in the video, you know, it knows it gets off about a second or so. I end this, uh, I'm using the SVD because I created a new account to, because Battlefield 3 is free uh, until June the 3rd, which is tomorrow, so you, <laughs> if you ever planned on getting it, and I'm sorry I didn't do this earlier, it's free until tomorrow, by the way. Uh, so basically I created a second account to start all over so I don't have to, like, erase my other account which I'm kernel level 6 or something like that on and I started new and fresh and basically there are crap tons of noobs in the servers right now so basically just pwned them all I had a earlier match 70 and like 20 or something like that but that's, that's beside the point I'm sorry uh, the audio like I said gets progressively worse by about a minute and not about a minute Jesus by about a second or so and then I'm sure if I had a longer clip it would get even worse but that that's probably its biggest problem uh it has well it has some stuttering issues and I'll tell you my settings here I have for it but it's not that great you'll see my FES in the top left corner with DX Tory which I plan on doing that side by side with DX Tory and Shadowplay uh at some point I'm not sure I'm not sure when but at some point and I guess we'll just go over the features of it. Uh, Shadow Play uh, it has manual recording, so basically, like I hit nine to enable DX story recording. And with Shadow Play, the default keystroke Alt F9 to enable manual recording. Uh, you can use Shadow Play to either do shadow and manual, just shadow recording, which is the like record the last 20 minutes of your gameplay thing. Uh, you could do it set it just for manual recording, and you can enable it to broadcast to Twitch, which I would freaking love to do. But the internet here, my internet sucks basically. So, or at least the upload speed, I believe it's, I think, 0.6 uh, megabyte, megabit upload speed. And if you don't know, that sucks balls. <laughs> just laying that out there for you. Uh, shadow time, I've already mentioned this, is shadow time is what they call the past 20 minute recording thing. You can set it all the way down to one minute, which will run about three, three, 375 megabytes, all the way up to 20 minutes, which will run you about 7.5 gigabytes, which is not that bad, considering the settings I have it set on, which, <coughs> excuse me, which I have it on the custom quality settings, I have it for in-game resolution at 1080 basically 1920 by 1080p uh, the bit rate is all the way up at 50 megabits a second 
and the frame rate is set to record at 30 FPS, which I may be able to turn that up to 60 and get rid of some of the choppiness, but I'd still like it to be, you know, not that choppy when recording just 30 FPS. And like I already mentioned, the audio, uh, you can record either the in-game audio or you can record in-game and microphone audio or you can turn audio recording off, which actually that may have been helpful for this because I accidentally recorded uh, over another YouTube video. I, I, I watch YouTube videos while I'm playing video games most of the time, so <clears throat> I had that and it recorded the YouTube audio as well. So I won't be able to unmute this clip, and so I just have to put music over it at the ending here. But that is pretty much everything on video shadow play and video shadow play. Actually, no, it's not. Uh, I have a bone to pick with you, NVIDIA. Planet Side 2 keeps crashing because of NVIDIA drivers, and it's, I think it's actually Shadowplay that does it. Because in the bottom right corner, there'll be the little Shadowplay symbol, that's where I have it set to be. And it will have a little red slash through it after the screen, both my screens go black, and then it'll come back on. And the little red circle will have red slash through it. And it just keeps crashing it. I have no idea why. And, oh, well, actually, now I see there is a new driver for me. So I may try that later, and I will get back to you on that in video. But please fix that, though. It's one of my favorite games. I have like 160 hours into it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm not sure how much longer this video will run. I will put music over rest of it I guess if it does run much longer than what I have recorded with audio here but yeah thanks for watching uh, like and subscribe if, if you don't like the video tell me why you don't like the video and tell me how you think I can improve that thanks again